Yo guys, what's up, what's up? I am playing... Some I am. With a kitten on my shirt. What, what? Thought I should share that with you guys. Mm, what do I do here? This is a... Oh, I'm so confused. I'm <laughs> so confused. Um, I should just do something quick. You know what? I'll play this move. Turn my sound down a little bit. Oh, this asshole wants to uh, mess me up. Mess me up. Uh, just B five. Is that weird? Um, let's play this move. Even though it's gonna go like E five and it's gonna be annoying. Ah, oh, whatever. Life will go on. All right. Let's do this. Oh, this might transpose into something I know now. Oh, let's transpose, baby. Baby! Pawn takes knight e2. It's a very amazing move. And I kind of like this position because I have two bishops. If we trade queens, I have two bishops. If not, I go c3, queen a4, stuff like that. And I have, still, I have two bishops. I like to have two bishops, basically, is what I'm saying. I like it. What the f holy crap is this move? Um. All right, I'm gonna move my queen out. Knight e8, a weird ass move. I gotta be honest. Oh crap! I can do something immediately. I'll oh, wait a second. Ah, uh, I'm just gonna develop my rooks. Check something in the meantime. <sighs> mm, if I take he takes with the rook, I can take on a seven. Which is interesting. <sighs> he won't take with the rook, but I mean, I should just go rook d1. If rook d8, I can win the a pawn. That's like ugly. I don't know, my, my, my feeling is like I gotta be like slightly better because I have two bishops, but it's not like a big deal. Um, my knight's a little misplaced. I like how he moved his knight to e6 like he did. It's very, very sophisticated. My knight on e2 is like a little, a little awkward. I'm just putting, you know, having a place for my bishop. Go to g2 maybe. I didn't expect that. I have to take it, right? It's annoying. Otherwise, he gets the e pawn. Okay. That's un annoying. It's annoying. Uh, queen b4, bishop f8. <clears throat> I guess this move. You still can't go rook d8. Because I take and take on b7. So, I mean, I have this file for the meantime. The problem is my knight has no, no future. No good future right now. This looks appropriate. Stop him um, from expanding. And maybe create some ideas of my own. The, the key question here, though, is how am I going to use my minor pieces? It's, it's not so simple. Mainly my, my, my bishop and my knight, both of them are hard to use. Bishop g4, is it any good or is it stupid? It's probably stupid. a5, you know what? It's a little loose, but I'm going to play it anyway. Like, okay, okay, okay. How do I get my knight to like some key square? I'm going to go knight c1. I actually don't know where it's heading from there, but I'm going to do it anyway. Weird move. Queen b6, then rook d7, huh? I'm gonna do it anyway. And then knight b3. And my knight is now in a spot where it's happy. Because it's gonna go to like d2 or, or c5 somewhere, maybe. I don't know. Uh, he shouldn't take, probably. If he doesn't take, though, I can take and then go knight c5. 
So it's a little awkward for him. And we'll see what happens. Meow! I don't know why I had to do that. <laughs> but I felt, felt the urge. Oh, wow, he took it. Right, he's trying to maneuver this guy. Um, I'm going to go like this. Attacking your things. The E pawn's under attack. If knight D6, I take and take on B7. I mean, he's just much worse here. In, in my humble opinion. I've played well. I think. It's, it's happened. I think. <laughs> um, like, like Bishop G7? It's like so ugly. Maybe I'll go Bishop E2 then. Or maybe... Let's see. How do I improve my position? Ooh, that's an ugly move. I'm going to do this just to maybe get my my bishop into the game somewhere. I should go b4 someday also. I thought that was bad. Oh, but I guess it's not so bad. Mm, let's do this. I'll move king g7, and then I'll, I don't exactly know what I'm going to do. Come up with something. How do I get my pieces in? I'll do this. It's not, it doesn't do much, though. Played anyway though. Um, queen e6 is like my brilliant plan, but then he just goes queen to um, e7. Huh. I want to go b4 just to defend my a pawn. So this is a passive move. I, the other thing is the clock. I need to uh, make sure not to not to mess up on the clock here. Keep the time edge. Ah, uh, back. Retreat. That's annoying. Repeat one time. Take, grab a fly. Oh, crap. But he's going to get a... I have an idea. Go for some attack. All, all king side attack now. Bishop a2, queen b3. Take my a pawn, man. I don't care. It's actually a really scary attack. What a smart player I am. This was actually a really good idea. Oh, he wants to sack. Okay, he wants to sack a pawn now. No, no can do, buddy. I'm going to keep going for the attack. If queen b3, he was going to go c4. But all I care about now is uh, using my queen and bishop to deliver some kind of checkmating ideas. Bishops of opposite color accentuate the attack. This is a standard concept in chess, and sort of demonstrating it right now. I'm just going to play this move. I don't know, I don't know how great it is. But. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna, uh, at least I'm not down a pawn. And we're going to see what I can do from here. See what He's low on time, too, so he's going to have a hard time coming up with, like, good moves. <laughs> I have to be careful not to plunder my pawn away. No threats, no threats. Defense. How do I continue here? I actually don't know. All right. Let's take this. I can take my a pawn, but I'm just gonna try to can annoy him for a bit. I don't know if there's any good. Obviously, I screwed up. I give up. I'm scared. <laughs> Too scared. Uh, I'll take a draw if he offers me one. Well, give up a pawn. I don't know if that was necessary. Draw? I'm offering a draw because I'm not a jerk. Alright, he took the draw. In one minute I'd flag, but...
you know, whenever, whenever, when they're in a situation where they can just move back and forth, I, I feel bad. Hey, the guy defended well. I, I thought I was really going to win. I, I should have played more for the clock. Not traded things. Just moved around a little more. I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to do it. How to break his position. I, I had to just make one more target. You know, I should go queen up seven and then, like, bishop. I don't know. Who's talking to me? Somebody's talking to me. Maybe he's happy I give him a draw. <laughs> very noble of you, thanks. I am a very noble guy. <laughs> um, you know, there's a code I have. Like, sometimes I'll, I'll flag you, but. This seemed like. Just there's a certain there's a certain level. There's a time when I won't do it, and this is one of those times. Like he still had five seconds left, and it's just like stupid bishops opposite color. Um, if there was if it was rooks instead though, like somehow it's different. But I, I just don't like it when all they have to do is move a piece back and forth, and it's a draw. Like it seems so cheap. But again, in one minute chess, I would I would still flag. Uh, it just, it just depends on the situation. Here it didn't feel appropriate for various reasons. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.